Here, in this enchanted garden, flowed the fountain of fair fortune. Once a year, between the hours of sunrise and sunset on the longest day, a single unfortunate was given the chance to fight their way to the fountain and drink from its waters, receiving fair fortune forevermore. Only one can drink from the fountain, Amata. It will be hard enough to decide which one of us it will be. It shall now be even harder now that you have dragged this shameful night into it. Each of the witches had their own burden of woe. The first, Asher, was sick of a malady that no healer could cure. The second, by the name of Althida, had been robbed of her home, her gold, and her wand. And the third, Amata, had been deserted by a man whom she had loved dearly. Pitying each other, they agreed that should the chance befall them, they would unite and reach the fountain together. Um, uh, my ladies, next to your magic and skill, I stand no hope to drink from the fountain. This is my intention to withdraw from this mission. I shall go no further. Faint heart, draw your sword and help us reach our goal. A door sits in their path, the first of their obstacles. Engraved on the wood were the words, pay me the proof of your pain. Pay me the proof of your pain? Knight, swing your sword at it. Sir Luckless draws his sword and they approach the door. In frustration and disappointment, Asher weeps. As tears fall, the door unlocks and swings open. The four go through the open door, happy to have solved the puzzle. However, Amata begins to have doubts. This journey is much more difficult than what I thought it would be. I'm starting to question whether I even come across the fountain at all. My lady, you've been so strong so far. I cannot stand to see such a, such a beautiful woman like yourself so dismissive. There's no doubt in my mind that you will make it. Are you okay, Asher? <sighs> my illness is starting to take me. We have to move quicker. They continued their journey, the sun at noon high in the sky, and upon another riddle they stumbled, placed on the ground were the words, pay me the fruit of your labors. We've been walking for hours and haven't moved an inch. Courage, my friends, and do not yield. Our three witches and knight finally reach the summit of the hill, thanks to Althea's effort. The fountain isn't far from them now, but still one last puzzle lies in their way. They came to a stream, and there in the depths of the clear water lay the words, pay me the treasures of your past. As they look from side to side, they see no crossing. But there is no bridge. How are we to continue without a bridge? Finally, Amata is the first to understand. I don't need him anymore. I will let this stream take with it the memories of him and I. Much to their surprise and pleasure, a bridge appears and they cross with delight. Before them, the fountain shimmered. Behind them, the sun began to set. Eventually, it was time to decide who should drink. But before they could make their decision...
am I? I'm cured. I have no need of the fountain. Let her feed a drink. If I can cure this disease, I can make plenty of gold. Amata, you drink. The stream has washed away all regrets of my lover. He was cruel and faithless. I'm happy enough to be rid of him. Good sir, you must drink in reward for your chivalry. As the sun fell below the horizon, Sir Luckless, brave from his drink from the Fountain of Fortune, took her hand and dropped to his knees and begged for her heart. My lady, will you make me the most fortunate of them all? Of course, my knight. And so all four end their journey. It is there they will go on to live long and happy lives. And not a single one of them ever knew or suspected that the fountain's water carried no enchantment, not even a single drop of magic at all. <laughs>